ongoing invasion. Now, one major city has already fallen to Russian forces, and right now Europe's largest nuclear power plant, located in southeastern Ukraine, is on fire after reportedly being struck by Russian artillery. Now, the plant has six nuclear reactors, but sources are telling Fox tonight that there's no sign of elevated radiation levels at this point that is surrounding the site. Now, the strike does lay bare, however, the current state. While the White House says there are no plans for President Biden to speak with Vladimir Putin in the near future, the Russian president phoned his French counterpart earlier today. And Emmanuel Macron's takeaway, Russian forces won't stop until the entire country of Ukraine is conquered. And he warns that the worst is yet to come. Are we starting now to get some sense of what that might look like? As Russia makes gains in the south of Ukraine, including an attempt to suffocate the port city of Mariupol, they've also started raising towns on the outskirts of Ukraine's capital. The shelling reducing many buildings, including residential ones, to rubble. Now we start in Kyiv, where Fox's Trey Yinks is standing by. Trey, this has been very hard to watch today. Uh, the refugee situation unfolding. The civilian.